having learned about the structure and nomenclature of alkyl halides and also methods for their preparation. It is now time to see what reactions can alkyl halides undergo. We begin with formation of Grignard reagents. This is the general structure of alkyl halides. If we take this as a general structure, we can react the alkyl halide with elemental magnesium. Elemental magnesium, and this is very important. Okay, if elemental magnesium reacts with an alkyl halide, the this product is obtained where magnesium inserts between carbon and X in the uh, of the CX board. This magnesium has to be elemental, which means Mg2 plus, for example, the cation of magnesium doesn't work in this reaction. It, the magnesium has to be in the elemental form, or the oxidation state has to be zero. The oxidation state of, of magnesium has to be zero. Now, these kinds of um, uh, products or these kinds of reagents, and they are called reagents here, yeah? okay, they are called uh, 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 Grignard reagents, Grignard reagents, after the name of the scientist who developed them. Grignard reagents after Victor Grignard, the scientist who developed such reagents, yeah? So they are named after him. They are called Grignard reagents. Basically, Grignard reagents are reagents that contain a carbon magnesium uh, X bond. Carbon magnesium X bond. Here again, magnesium has inserted in the CX bond in this reaction. Magnesium has inserted in the CX bond. So you see, magnesium here is between carbon and X. Magnesium is between carbon and X, so the oxidation state here, therefore, is plus two. It is plus two. It was zero in the elemental form. The oxidation state of magnesium in the elemental form is zero. But the oxidation state of magnesium in the Grignard reagent is plus two. So therefore, magnesium has undergone oxidation. Magnesium has undergone oxidation because its oxidation state has increased from zero to plus two. So therefore, this is oxidation. But also magnesium has inserted in the CX bond. So this can be named or described as oxidative insertion. Also magnesium has added, if you like, to the CX bond. So this can be also described as oxidative addition. So oxidative addition or oxidative um, insertion of uh, possible descriptions, if you like, of this, of the Grignard formation reaction from the alkyl halide. So oxidative addition or oxidative insertion, again, the oxidation state of magnesium has increased from zero in the elemental form to plus two in the Grignard. Magnesium has added to the CX bond, and that's why this is called addition oxidative because magnesium has undergone oxidation, insertion because magnesium has inserted in the CX bond. This reaction formation of the Grignard uh, reagent or the Grignard formation reaction it can be described as oxidative addition or oxidative insertion. This reaction is remarkable. This reaction is beautiful, as I described it for a simple but powerful reason. Now, if you look at the alkyl halides, this is an alkyl halide, yeah? What do we know about alkyl halides? What we know about alkyl halides is that they are electrophilic, as you might recall, yeah? So they are 
electrophilic and alkyl halides are electrophilic of course at carbon that's directly bonded to the uh, to the halogen so once again that is the electrophilic site and that's because of inductive effect that's because of the shift of electrons by x and the cx bond which would let, which would then leave a negative partial charge on the halogen and of course a positive partial charge on carbon and this what in, uh, 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 induces the electrophilicity of, on that carbon and therefore on the alkyl halide overall so alkyl halides are electrophilic now if you go to the grignard and you think of the same carbon the same electrophilic site in the alkyl halide that carbon which is this one here this is bonded to now magnesium magnesium is a metal magnesium is a metal now carbon would carbon would pull the electrons more toward itself in this bond than magnesium that's because carbon is an unmetal yeah carbon is an unmetal magnesium is a metal this is a carbon metal bond yeah okay this carbon metal bond carbon would pull electrons more toward itself than magnesium leaving carbon with a negative partial charge and magnesium with a positive partial charge so now carbon has a negative partial charge and carbon over there in the alkyl halide has a positive partial charge carbon here is no longer electrophilic actually carbon here is now nucleophilic and this is an extremely important feature of Grignard reagent is that they are uh, neo, neo, neo uh, uh, kiliophilic, yeah, that's, that's right, nucleophilic, and this is because of the fact that carbon is a nonmetal, it is more electronegative than the, uh, uh, than the metal, which is, which is magnesium. So remember, carbon is a nonmetal, and magnesium is a metal, and carbon will pull. Uh, electrons more toward itself obviously because it is more electronegative so now carbon would, would would get a negative partial charge so the reactivity now is is uh, inverse if you like alkyl halides or carbon that's directly bonded to x and alkyl halides is electrophilic that's very carbon that same carbon in the green yard is now nucleophilic because of the the fact that carbon is more electronegative than the metal, which is magnesium. So this is, this is a very important feature of Grunyard reagents that they are nucleophilic. The other feature of Grunyard reagents, if I write the CNG X bond again, this carbon now, once again, pulls electrons more toward itself than this, uh, than, the, uh, than the magnesium. That's because carbon is a, a non-metal, it is more electronegative. And therefore, this carbon is nucleophilic. For that reason, it is nucleophilic. And also, it is basic as well. It is basic because negative carbon would have a negative charge, basically. So it can behave as a nucleophile, that carbon. And also, it can behave as... As, as a base. So therefore, Grignard reagents, Grignard reagents are both nucleophilic and basic, and that's because carbon is bonded to magnesium in Grignard reagents. Carbon is more electronegative than magnesium. Carbon would then pull the electrons more toward itself in this Mg carbon bond, leaving carbon with a negative partial charge and magnesium with a positive charge. Now to conclude after this, Grignard reagents are both nucleophilic and basic. These two important chemical features imparts a very important practical consideration and that is in the preparation of Grignard reagents. Because of the fact that carbon is basic and nucleophilic, carbon in Grignard reagents is both basic and nucleophilic then care has to be exercised in the preparation. The preparation of, of Grignard reagent should be done under an inert atmosphere. 
and it should be done in, in, in the absence of water. So the solvent that is used in this type of reactions, which is typically an ether, should be dry. It should be without water. So, so there should be no water in the preparation reaction of, of Grignard reagents. That is because carbon is both basic and nucleophilic. So the preparation of alkyl halide, of, of, sorry, of Grignard reagent must be done under an inert atmosphere, under an inert atmosphere that is because carbon is both basic and nucleophilic. So these two important features will lead to this very important practical consideration and that is the preparation of Grignard's and an inert atmosphere. And there should be no water, so there should be done in the absence of, of water. Grignard reagents must be done under an inert atmosphere and in the absence of water, so therefore the solvent, yeah, okay, that is used, solvent must be dry and other conditions must be dry. So solvent must be dry. We have to use a dry solvent, which means free of water, and also the conditions should be dry as well. If the conditions are wet or if the solvent is wet, then water uh, uh, from the solvent or from other conditions will simply destroy the Grignard. Because remember, the Grignard is basic at carbon, water is a proton source, so it, the Grignard can pick up a proton from water in an acid-base reaction, and this destroys the Grignard, basically the corresponding alkane is produced.